2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. We're at the Skipjack Open. It's time to get our coverage underway. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? City views are abundant at this opening hole. Tarwa Golf Club, par four, 492 yards. A very strong opening hole. Fairway bunkers down the right-hand side shouldn't come into play for the long hitters. However, it's a long second shot and very demanding. Water to the right, as you can see. Bunkers to the left, and anything long leaves a challenging third. All in all, one of the toughest opening holes these players will see. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. That's some good golf right there. From around 180 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Opting for the six iron. That's a little wayward. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Getting ready to play their third. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Yeah, we'll take that. Starting the round at even par. We are at the second tee. Looks to be going with the six iron. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. This one's for birdie. Go in. That one had eyes for it the whole way. Currently one under for the round. Teeing off here at the third hole. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. 
Let's head over to the fourth hole. How close was that to going down? Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, they might have a good chance with this one. It's in the first cut, sitting, sitting pretty good. And here we are with the third shot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Thirteen feet to the cup. This is a bogey putt coming up. Oh, nice looking putt. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. And the player steps up to this short par four. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. Time for the second shot here at the four. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Nice stroke. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Got to say, Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. John, give us a small update. Well, guys, I'm down on the fifth, and this is Patrick Canlin's next shot. Looks like they've got the five wood. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth.
Going with the six iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Good shot there. This punt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. It's tracking. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And that will take him to one under. He's currently tied for 13. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. yourself a pat on the back. Interesting choice of the driver here. And this effort by Justin Thomas. John, have you got a read on this one? This looks like around 29 feet. Let's return to live play now. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They could hold it from here. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? You want to move into the top ten on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. Starts off on a good line. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And he'll move into the top ten. Just two shots back after that hole. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. And ladies and gentlemen, that was laser-like. Took a great deal of accuracy there. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. To the top five he goes. And he finds himself in a tie for third. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four.